Good afternoon everyone, Treasure Troller here. I'll have to get this one out fairly quick. It's a very mild and lovely Michigan afternoon in early March. I wanted to do this video a couple of days ago, but I didn't, uh, didn't get around to it. So it's a little bit late, but the prediction still can come true. So hey, you can see Biden's going to get the nomination. Is there any more justification needed for Hillary Clinton becoming the nominee? Seriously? Who's really going to think Joe Biden should carry the Democratic mantle into the 2020 election? I'm thinking uh, I see a crowd going really crazy and then he gets up to give some sort of party come together speech and as he stumbles through talking about how it was a long hard election between him and Lincoln but they pulled through and it's time for the party to come together and everybody just kind of drops their Biden sign and says no no I just don't see him carrying that mantle into the 2020 election. But we have a little bit of business before that. I had a little fun with a national YouTube radio show the other day when I called them and gave them a tinfoil hat conspiracy theory. I called them on Monday. So I'll give you a second to put on your tinfoil hat. So we can all be on the same frequency with this. And that was the coronavirus was a democratic conspiracy to allow Joe Biden to come down with coronavirus-like symptoms and not have to take the debate stage on Saturday. So... One of them kind of got it, but the other one went, you know, took it a little bit seriously. So, and that's really, there is a little bit of truth behind this. I, I mean, right now, it's almost like a football game and Joe Biden has a 49 to nothing lead in the middle of the fourth quarter. There's no reason to keep your starters in the game. The game is over. You know, it's just a formality of running the clock out. Joe Biden has nothing to gain and everything to lose by getting on that debate stage on Saturday night. You know, there was talk like on Monday about Joe wanting to sit down and, you know, Bernie, there was no, he didn't. And so... That was being passed off as just kind of some uh, some BS being thrown out there. And sure enough, they made it a sit down. And then, then they've closed this thing off to the public. It's going to be Joe and Bernie, a few moderators, and some, you know, uh, television cameramen and whatnot. It's a very closed session or closed studio debate. You know, we've already had Ted Cruz sequestering himself. So my theory is what's going to happen is, and they're going to blame it on Michigan because all those darn union guys really laid into Joe. There's going to, they're going to start a rumor and they're going to spread a rumor because they've just came up with two known cases of coronavirus in Michigan over on the east side of the state, over in the, in the metro Detroit area. They're going to say that someone was at that Biden rally with coronavirus-like symptoms. And because of that, and that alone, and only that, Joe Biden is not going to, he's going to sequester himself, and he will not be present at the debate on Saturday night. There's no reason for this dude to get up there on stage. He's a human gaff machine. You need to 
You need to keep him out of the ring to spare him and the Democratic Party and its faithful supporters of Joe Biden the embarrassment. So, Treasure Trollers, Conspiracy Theory of the Week is the debate will be canceled. It will be canceled for fear of the coronavirus. It will be canceled by the Biden campaign. And I thought, I said before, Joe was going to have the coronavirus type symptoms. They're going to say someone at that rally exhibited coronavirus type symptoms. So Joe is going to sequester himself and take the test. So that's it. The debate will not happen. And I still say Hillary is going to be the nominee. So with that, this is Treasure Troller saying aloha and good day.